everyone. Welcome back. It's Melanie, your She Shed Scrapper. So today I am back with my November Not Just For Boys Kit Club haul. I did get quite a few add-ons this month because as you can see, they had The Best Day by Pink Fresh Studio and I've been eyeing that collection for a while. So I kind of went a little crazy and got all of those goodies. So we'll just jump right in. This is the journaling bit. Again, The Best Day by Pink Fresh Studio. And I just love the different options, um, kind of the tags, the little envelopes that are already made for you. I did end up getting both ephemera packs. This is considered a fall collection, I believe. There's lots of fall sayings, but the colors are not your typical fall colors. And you know, there's not really any leaves, um, so to speak, like your typical leaves, I guess. Um, the sayings are pretty much all fall but I really love the colors in this collection and the sayings and probably will use it a lot more not fall pictures than with fall pictures, but love these little alphas, the colors again, I love these colors together. Um, these, the size of these remind me of the Paige Evans kind of foam stickers or foam letters, sorry, and love that size. And then I got the cardstock stickers, again, just different shapes, some journaling, a little stamp, um, again, a flower, so not have, it doesn't have to be fall, and then just so many different options. So I love that. I did end up getting this paper as well, so we'll dig into that. So a really nice pale blue kind of plaid here, and then the back side is just kind of a cream with some white, almost pink and white mixed media with some flowers some colored leaves here with a pale pink background and a fun rainbow kind of back page here these colors are definitely not ones that i would put together this particular page but i like the way that it looks it's kind of like a light blue with a green and then the really deep kind of i call it mustard there's probably a different name for that color but just a different color combination, but love this side too. I've seen a lot of people post um, layouts on Instagram with this paper. Um, love that the scallops are already done for you and the border is done for you. And I love the navy um, kind of border. This is a really pretty green with these flowers like that. And then the cut aparts. And again, I mean, this one says happy fall. Otherwise, there's not really anything fall about these cut aparts. So that is awesome. You can use them any way you want. This one here is a fun kind of diagonal plaid with some light pink and this bright yellow. And then this kind of has almost a mixed media background feel. There's some texture looks to it and then the white leaves. This bicycle paper is super cute. I probably won't use it. I don't go on bike rides really ever um but it is really cute and then the back side is a really fun polka dot with all the colors of the collection and then just a really nice yellow plaid um tone on tone yellow and then kind of journaling bits cut aparts on the back side if that's what you choose or layering pieces as well some more of the leaves. I think the first one was on a light pink piece of paper or a light pink background. Yep, and a little bit smaller design um, with the leaves. And then a really fun multicolored plaid. Again, bringing in most of the colors of the collection. This is a really nice gray and the flowers are kind of a really pale pink, which is really pretty. And then a nice pink plaid paper there as well. More cut aparts again, different sizes, different shapes, um, sayings, tags, stamps, just really like those options. And I really like this page as well, kind of a herringbone or chevron. And I think these two are diff different colors, pink and almost like an orangish red, I think. Here's this color combination as well, again, but I feel like the yellow is almost more green in this one um, and kind of toned down if you ask me. And then I love this one. I love that the circle's already done for you with just a small amount of embellishing that just really enables you to do a lot with the layout. This is almost like an ombre pink 
which is really nice. And then the back side are these fun glasses there. I did also add on this cup file. I loved the ornaments, the, tr um, the tree and the presents. I just thought that was a really good Christmas one. And then their second kit, I think it was called Magical. It was kind of themed towards Disney and loved it, but don't haven't gone to Disney recently and don't have any plans to. So what I did instead of buying the kit, because I owned some of the kit already, is I just went ahead and grabbed the paper collection, um, the paper for it, because I loved the colors in this collection and love the papers. So this one here um, is from Metropolitan Girl by Cartabella. Love this pink. It is a really pretty pink and the hearts are almost an off white. I probably won't use this side, but wanted to show you. So kind of like a little city set setting. And in this collection, there's a lot of Bungalow Lane, which I absolutely love, but I'm trying to scale back. And so I didn't want to buy the whole collection. So this was kind of a nice, you know, I got, I think at least three papers from the collection in this kit. So that was really nice. I love these stars. Um, they almost look stitched in there, just kind of subtle. And then the back is this really nice blue. Love the zip strip at the top as well. This one here is Safe Travels by Simple Stories and it's the tag paper, which I love. I own this already. I love all of the colors in this and the sayings for traveling. And I love that these ones are like done for you, but then if you want to journal, there's a whole side of like journaling tags on the back. Another Bungalow Lane paper. This one is a really bright coral, which I love this color here as well. And then the back side is kind of that scallops, which are really fun. And I love this color with navy. So this will be really pretty together. This again is a Bungalow Lane collection. Um, the navy almost get darker to lighter. Um, so that's really pretty. And then this side here is like geometric shapes and really fun, busy, but fun. And then here is, um, this is from Little Dreamer, Echo Park and teacups. One of the, I think it was an acrylic or a wood piece was a teacup. So again, it was Disney themed. So the teacups make sense. And then the backside is just a really pale blue, um, yeah, plaid almost. This here is Market Square from Maggie Holmes, which is a really fun paper. Don't know how I'd use this though, um, but it is really fun. And then the back side, I love this. It is almost like a book and it's pale pink, um, you know, kind of tone on tone with the words. So really like that. That would be a good um, base page. This one here is Kid at Heart. Uh, by Pebbles. This is a new one as well as the Market Square. So it's fun to kind of get new collections, even if it is just one piece of paper. But these are some fun sayings, best day ever. Um, love these little two by two squares. And then the back side is a nice yellow. Ooh, look at that zip strip. That border strip is really pretty. And it says smile in kind of like typewriter. Um, yeah like a typewriter font. So that is the magical paper. Uh, definitely check it out if you are big into Disney or have a pl trip planned. It would be a great collection for you. Now let's dig into the premium kit. I think it's called Splendor. I could be completely wrong. Hopefully that's what it's called. Anyways, it's the premium kit for the month. So let's take that out and take a peek. So no stamp in this one this month. However, they did say that there were extra embellishments. So we'll start with this really nice um, wood home. Love that. I still have some pictures of when we purchased our current house and kind of redid some of it. So I can see myself using that for that. The bits and pieces from the Simple Vintage Country Harvest Simple Stories collection. So definitely a fall themed kit again, pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes. Love these bright colors. That teal is something different than what I usually do. Um, pumpkin spice, hello October. So just some really fun ones and then some 
tags as well. This is kind of like a mushroom patch. Um, if I'm gonna be honest, not really my thing. Mushrooms or patches, I guess, for scrapbooking, but we'll see if I can use it or, I don't know, gift it maybe. The cut file is kind of like this fern leaf. Uh, I call it a fern, I guess. It's a little bit different than a fern, but this leaf here, some of the navy alphas from the best day by pink fresh studio so this will be good to use in both um and these are a little bit bigger than the other alphas these are the puffy alphabet from best day and i am so excited for this one i have been wanting this collection for a long time and i mean it just came out, but I've been eyeing it for a very long time. These colors are just amazing. It's the Hearth and Home from Simple Stories. These are the foam stickers and just a really good kind of fall paper. Then you get these, I think they're called baubles maybe. I don't know. They're like pearly different colors that match the kit. Um, just use some tacky glue and glue them down on the page. And it's just a really fun look. And then we'll dig into the papers. Some new collections here too. So the Fernwood by Vicki Booten. Here are the journaling cards. So the three by four um, cut aparts. Love the, like, the outdoor feel of this one and the colors. And then the back side is a really fun kind of mixed media page already done for you. Love the navy. That'll be great for the bits and pieces, I think. I think that'll look really good. With that, this one here, another new collection, Peaceful Heart by Jen Hadfield. So it's almost like tone on tone. Really actually looks good with that. Almost identical in colors. So really pretty. And then I guess almost like a rainbow or sun design, a darker kind of tone on tone, but that zip strip there is amazing. Love that color. My guess is this is another fern wood, yep. So this is like different wood grain squares, different colors. That's a little bit different. And then a really nice green backside. Love this color. Um, and there's a little bit of mixed media, some um, kind of words in there mixed in as well. So there's this kind of, I'll call it grungy look. My guess is another fern wood. So kind of a mixed media feel. Uh, it gives me that grungy look. This though with these will be amazing. So that'll definitely be something that matches there. But the backside is a really pretty, this is almost like a burlap border with these navy flowers. So that one being from the same collection, that one would match there. And another one, I'm thinking Fernwood, yep. So like a ledger here, a really nice light aqua color. Love that zip strip there. And then some ferns on the backside um, and kind of a mixed media background again as well. This one here is actually from the Simple Vintage Country Harvest, um, the Simple Stories collection from and love the different mixed media. It's a little busy and a little bit too vintagey for me. So I don't know if I'll use this side or not. The back side is almost like a black kind of going fading into another color polka dot. So my guess is I'll probably use this one. This is just a little bit too busy and too vintage for me, but might be up your alley. And then a double dot, the evergreen vintage. Um, and again, just a kind of Almost mixed media feel as well with the darker colors on the outside. And then the back side is this kind of floral paper here. Oh, and then this paper is in the kit as well. The same one that I showed you earlier. And then this navy, which I loved with the scallop. So I'm excited to have two pages of this paper here. And then my goodness, you get the sticker sheet for the Simple Vintage country harvest collection as well. So lots of embellishing options with the different, you know, tickets, the word phrases, the stickers, just lots of options, the photo corners. So love that. I did end up adding on the paper because I like to have multiple papers because um, I do a lot of two page kits. And so this 
is just the paper that I just showed you. And then last thing I did is the cardstock add-on for this collection. And we'll get that open and show you the colors in that. So this is called Jade and it's a really nice green color. Ooh, I like this orange. This one doesn't have a name, but that is a very nice orange color. I love when I find a good orange. This is vanilla, which is also a very staple piece here in the she shed. And then this is blue Calypso. So these are the cardstock add-ons. And so there's so much more that they have this month um, that you can add on and they actually have two more page kits by Merity, both Christmas related. Um, I did not get those. I have so much Christmas stuff. I didn't feel like I needed those, but they are great page kits. So definitely check that out as well. I will have the link for not just for boys down below. So I hope you guys check it out if you like what you see and we will see you next time. Bye guys.